Hi everyone, my name is Martin Guada and I'm here to demonstrate to you how to operate, how to set up and operate a DG Multi-4. Now the daily DG Multi-4 combines four operations into one compact unit. Among these operations we've got a 5 kVA generator for AC power output. We also have a 200 amps DC welder for welding applications. Then we've got 8 bar compressor for operating pneumatic machines. And finally, we've got a lighting mask that incorporates four LED lights. The DG Multi is a high specification and high quality product with unique design features for all workshop and site applications. The unit is compact with four number 10 inch wheels for ease of uh, trolling it around. We've got the, this telescopic mast assembly that support for LED lights. We also have a control panel with various controls and indicator lights. You can be able to see the ignition key with off, on and start position clearly marked. We have the AC output meter showing volts, frequency and hours run. We've got uh, indicator lights and AC output sockets. Then we have also the DC breaker and DC outlets. We've got buttons for operating the lights the lighting mast up and down and besides them we've got the switch for operating the lights. We also have the welding adjuster and welding socket outlet. Two compressed air outlets and then we've got also a pressure gauge, one on the inlet, one on the delivery line and we've got the compressed air regulator. Before operating this unit ensure that the oil level is okay. Choice of oil is crucial to performance. Check the fuel level, use a strainer provided when adding fuel and make sure to always leave enough room at the top to cater for fuel expansion. Turn on fuel valve to allow fuel to flow from the tank to the engine. There are three selections of starting the engine. We've got the electric start, we've got the option of recoil start and remote control start. In the electric start, the engine is started by turning the starting key to the on position. Pull the choke lever to the start position. Start the engine. When the engine starts, take it back. To operate the welder, you start by connecting the welding cables to the welding sockets, making sure that the polarity is observed. Adjust the welding current to suit the material and the rod thickness that is being used. This machine is supplied complete with 4 meters welding cable and at the end of the cable we also supply this welding rod holder as well as a, a welding clamp for use during the welding operation. Once the engine is on and the air pressure attains 3 bar, operate the lift or drop switch to move the lighting mass to the required height. So having taken you through the various features and operation procedures of this machine, you can now see that this is a very unique machine with various uh, features which are particularly ideal for people operating workshops or even for construction sites where uh, various operations are required at the same time or at different times. Mm -hmm.